Chapter 2 Globe, Latitudes and Longitudes What is a globe? Globe is a miniature model of earth. How our earth is looking like? You learned in your first chapter it has a particular shape and size. Particular shape that is geoid. So the miniature model of earth that is known as globe. An imaginary line, if you see a globe, if you observe, if you watch a globe, you will see a globe is not straight. It is a little tilted. Then we can see an imaginary line that is joining North Pole and South Pole. This imaginary line is known as axis. Remember, in real earth, there is no line joining like this. It is our imagination. So we call it as imaginary line. But the time when you will observe a globe, you can see, they can feel that line. You can see that globe is tilted, North Pole and South Pole. Northern side, the upper side, we call it of the globe. If you see the globe, the upper side, we call it as North Pole. The down, it is as South Pole. Another imaginary line you will find that actually is dividing the earth into two parts. This is known as equator. This line is known as equator. What is the meaning of this name equator? Equator is the line that is dividing the earth into two equal parts. So, it is known as equator. If you see a globe, now observe the globe carefully. If you observe it carefully, you will find even on globe there is an equator. Middle of the earth you can observe it. It is dividing the earth into two parts. What are those two parts? The northern side of equator is known as northern hemisphere and the southern side of this so, this entire northern part is northern hemisphere and the southern side is known as southern hemisphere. Now, check your globe and find out where India is located. You will find India is located in this position. That means India is located in the northern hemisphere. The equator is a circular line because the globe we know the art the shape of the art that is round so equator is a circular line that actually is dividing the earth into two hemisphere northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere all parallel circles now if you observe now observe the globe carefully again you will find it is not only equator but there are many other parallel circles there in these parallel circles they actually they are also covering the earth and ultimately they are just like a dot in the north pole the same way we can find in the southern si si hemisphere also and we can see in the southern hemisphere is just like a dot this is known as the pole here it is north pole and here it is south pole now why we consider equator equator is considered as measured as zero degree and here north pole is measured as 90 degree south pole 90 degree north and south pole is measured as 90 degree south why we measure like that let us discuss about important parallels of latitudes these all are known as latitudes what are the important parallels of latitudes let us discuss on that what is latitude we are coming here now what is a latitude latitude is a line line of latitude is a line we measured in degrees that runs from east to west dividing the earth into two hemisphere north and south they are decreasing in size when they are going from equator to the pole middle of the earth to the pole they are decreasing their size what are the important parallels of latitudes 
one i hope you can name easily that is definitely equator equator is these all latitudes they are measured in degrees so the equator is 0 degree what is the next one we can see in 23 and half degree north and 23 and half degree south remember 23 and half degree north and 23 and half degree south we imagine another two latitudes line of latitudes they are tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn Above them in 66 and half degree we have another two imaginary latitude. This is actually northern circle and this is southern circle. Next we are coming to the pole which is coming 90 degree north that is north pole. And this is South Pole. This one is Arctic Circle. And this one is Antarctic Circle. Let us understand a simple thing here that why we say equator is zero degree and why not and then why it is going decrease uh, increasing the degrees and we say it is 90 degree if this is the middle of the earth the 360 degree we can find if it is a, it is a straight line so 360 degree now if it is middle of the earth from here if you measure with your comp if your protector you will find the degree is zero but if you measure here one fourth of if you divide one uh, 360 degree into one fourth it will come as 90 degree so one fourth part of the world is covered you can see that so this is 90 degree there's many many more equations and calculations we will do in the higher classes and we'll understand all these degrees very well for now this is the major thing you need to learn that what are the important parallels their equator in zero degree 23 and half degree it is tropic of cancer 23 and half degree south it is tropic of capricorn then 62 and half degree north it is arctic circle 62 and half degree south so we can see that uh, 62 and half degree it is arctic circle uh, 62 and half degree south is antarctic circle then 90 degree north which is nothing but a dot that is north pole and 90 degree south that is south pole they are the important latitudes what is a latitude that is running from east to west and dividing the earth into northern two hemisphere northern and southern hemisphere their names we have learned the na their names are equator the major one we have learned their name equator tropic of cancer tropic of african arctic circle antarctic circle north pole and south pole now you can ask me are they the only one we don't have any more yes we have every one degree if you measure there is one latitude we can, we imagine them like that remember these all are imaginary lines we imagine them for our own benefit we will come there we will discuss on why we have created them why we have imagined them that also we will discuss now with this equa this uh, circles whatever we have seen whatever the important parallels we all already we also call them parallels and uh, they are running as parallel they are running parallelly so we call them parallel uh, so with these latitudes 
we divided the earth into few heat zones. Let us discuss about heat zones now. This is the earth. We know this is equator dividing the earth into two part. We know this is Arctic, uh, this is uh, Tropic of Cancer and this is Tropic of Cancer, Capricorn. This zone is getting maximum heat from sun. You may ask me the reason why it is getting like that. Because sun is directly, the sun rays are always direct on equator. Though, so, this region is getting maximum heat from sun. This zone 23 and half degree north to 23 and half degree south so equator from equator 23 and half degree north and from equator to 23 and half degree south is known as this zone is known as torrid zone this known this zone is known as torrid zone it is always very hot this is the hottest zone in the world. This is known as, this entire zone is known as torrid zone. Come to the next one, which is 66 and half degree north, we know that, and 66 and half degree south, Arctic Circle and Antarctic Circle. From 23 and half degree north to 66 and half degree north is known as temperate zone. Even this part also. So, 23 degrees uh, south to 66, uh, 23 degree and half degree south and 66 and half degree south. This zone is known as temperate zone. Whatever the rest, 66 degree half. So, this zone, what is the specific speciality? of this zone this zone is not too hot not too cold it is temperate moderate temperature is moderate now from 66 degree half to 90 degree north that is the polar region how it will be it is very cold so we call is as frigid zone the name of this zone is frigid zone here also 66 degree half uh, 66 and half degree south to 90 degree south this zone is known as frigid zone so if we divide heat zones how many heat zones are there there are three that one is torrid zone next one is temperate zone And the third one is frigid zone. Now, let us see now clearly torrid zone is from 0 degree to 23 and half degree north. Then from 0 degree to 23 and half degree south. Tell me what is temperate zone? Temperate zone in the same way 23 and half degree north to 66 and half degree north. And 23 and half degree south to 66 and half degree south. Coming to the frigid zone. Frigid zone we can see again 66 and half degree north to 90 degree north and 66 and half degree south to 90 degree south. I hope it is clear now the heat zones of the earth. How is the temperature climate we can find there? Torrid zone it is very hot and humid. Next we are coming to temperate zone they are moderate. Not so hot, not so cold and in the frigid zone it is very cold. You know in the uh, poles it is 6 months day and 6 months night. 
it is like that